Howdy there folks, it's Geist, and in today's video we're going to be talking about how to make your bows more accurate, miss less shots, and overall get a lot less of those uh, ghost arrows. Now to start off we're going to be using two different copies of Tyranny of Heaven here that I've crafted. And the only difference between these two bows is that one has 21 accuracy and the other has 71. Otherwise, with the exception of those little perks like the strings and such that change that, uh, they all have the same perks. So there's nothing that's going to influence them like uh, moving target or anything like that. Uh, so to start off, we're going to be talking about uh, aim assistance fall off or AA fall off or your AA range. It has a bunch of different names. And this is different on a lot of weapons and a lot of times it's typically similar to the damage fall off, but bows don't really have a damage fall off. But essentially what this is, is it's a certain range that as long as you're within that range, if you miss your target, it'll course correct and the arrows will curve and still hit the target. And as you can see there, it's fairly generous. And uh, it, it extends out fairly far. So initially there, I think I was around 35 meters or so, but we're moving out now to about 55 meters. And as you're going to see here, it's still active. Now, it's not quite as generous at longer ranges, of course. The cone, so to speak, is a little bit tighter. But as you can see here, I'm trying to shoot past the head and I'm still having the arrows curve and still land on their target. Once you get past 55 meters, now this is for lightweight bows. Once you get past 55 meters, that's when it starts to fall off. And now, as you'll see, it's a lot easier for me to actually shoot past the head. That one, I was kind of on the corner of the head there. But... I can shoot arrows past the head because the aim assist is not working anymore. We're past that AA range. Uh, one interesting thing to note is that zoom does affect this. So say for instance, you want to use the new marksman optic, which is a mod that increases your zoom. It will increase that by about roughly five to 10 meters. Now I don't have an exact figure on that because it's really hard to test at this distance, but it seemed to still be fairly sticky and still be curving up to 10 meters past. So about up to roughly 65 meters. Now, again, it's a little iffy at 65 meters, but at this distance, it's really hard to see the person anyways. And, and frankly, it's hard to see them even at 55 meters. So uh, right off the bat, I would say that I would skip on these zoom mods. I wouldn't worry too much about your zoom. Uh, because frankly, bows don't have great dueling capabilities at that range anyways. You don't really want to be dueling at 55 meters plus because you're probably going to get your head ripped off by a scout and even some pulse rifles. Now, move back a little further. I'm here at roughly 75 meters and I should have absolutely no aim assist help whatsoever. Supposedly, that's where accuracy comes into play. Supposedly, accuracy is how straight the arrow still goes after it exits that AA cone, if you're outside of it. And so in theory, with this 21 accuracy tyranny that I'm using right here, if I'm aiming right at the head and firing repeatedly at that person outside of my AA cone, then some of the arrows should be missing. And there was a small miss there. Could have just been me, hard to say. But it didn't really seem like my reticle was on there. And, and there should be maybe even some kind of a difference here with this 71 accuracy bow. But there's just not. And we, this is just a small test that you're seeing here, but we've tested with the enemy target strafing. We've tested with me strafing. We've tested with both of us strafing. We've tested in live duels back and forth with both of these roles. And we just can't figure out a difference. No matter what kind of test we throw at these things, never at any point has any kind of difference shown itself. And so for that reason, I would say you guys should just ignore accuracy. And there's never really been a definitive talk on this and nobody's really given a straight answer. I have tested this as many ways as I possibly can. I've tested it on console at 60 frames. I've tested it on PC at 165 frames. Frames don't make a difference. Accuracy just doesn't make a difference. I think it's a placebo. Now there's gonna be a lot of people that swear by accuracy and you know, by all means, if it makes you feel better, then go right ahead. But I would say just to skip on that. And I would also say not to worry about the zoom either. The only thing that matters is aim assist as far as making the shots more sticky. The higher the aim assist, the more arrows you're gonna land. And that just makes sense. And so Tyranny is a good one to start with just because the base aim assistance is already 81. It's really easy to get it to 100. And it's a really, really sticky bow. It's one of the reasons it feels so good compared to a lot of others. And so I would say in general, don't worry about accuracy. Don't worry about zoom unless you just really want to have that extra distance and try to duel at longer ranges. Just focus on cranking your aim assist as high as you can possibly get it. And the weapon will pretty much do a lot of the work for you. 
Uh, I know I've been talking about bows this entire time, but this does apply to pretty much every other weapon in the game, of course. Aim assist is always one of the most important, if not the most important stat. Otherwise, on bows, you know, same typical stuff. Draw time, reload speed, things like that. Get all that as high as you can. But this makes it a lot easier to build them effectively because you can just completely ignore accuracy, at least in my opinion. Uh, so anyways, guys, I hope you found this video helpful. Um, thanks for watching, and if you want to see more bow content, feel free to subscribe, join the Twitch, whatever. Um, also, feel free to join the community Discord, whoever. Uh, even if you don't like bows, we like to have a lot of fun, and I try to be as responsive as possible. So just ask me a question anytime. Thanks for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful evening.